We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. This evening on Juice Media, we're diving deeper than ever previously, leaving aside greetings and pleasantries and leaping in. And it's time to seek the true root cause of the world's miseries. As we've seen, we can't believe in the mainstream frequencies. Therefore, in order to more fully understand, we're forced to turn to alternative sources on other bands, such as the newsfeed of a tranquil and humble man who has inflamed the airwaves with passion and rage. Russell Brand. This is Rap Trues, the news if the news was true and rhymed. I'm Russell Brand on YouTube, shedding light on our life and times. Hi, Russell, can you please analyse some of today's headlines? Alright, let's have a butchers at the world tonight. What's this? Little old man arrested for feeding the poor, showing Christian values and helping those in need? Awful! But spend one trillion bailing out Wall Street or give four billion to political parties for their campaigns? That's perfectly lawful! Page 5, iniquities on a sharp rise, with rampant unregulated capitalism swamping our rights. Corporations won't raise minimum wage, but raise rent on estates, forcing many into a homeless state, sleeping in public spaces in a... And hark at these shady trade deals all being signed TTIP, TPP, sound boring right? Don't ignore what's behind Malevolent, Machiavellian, matching 80 forces combined Not acting for yours or mine It's all for the corporate whores in disguise What can we do to stop it? Don't believe the hype The Fox News lies or the Daily Mail The Times Be spiritually aligned Buy my book, you work online Revolution is nigh That was some truths Subscribe to Rap Crew Subscribe here Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe The state of society is indeed a major anxiety But what's causing all of this flagrant impropriety? Is it the case that that we simply lost our way on the high seas? Or is there in fact some mysterious plan at play behind the scenes? To probe even deeper, we call in another truth seeker's opinion. Are you online, Terence Moosey? Is Obama Kenyan? Listen, Russell Brand's a minion, only giving you half the picture. He won't mention the secret force that keeps the poor poor and the rich richer. What is it? I'll show you, slaves. Prepare to have your minds blown. But first, I need you all to focus. Get your third eyes open. Turn off your TVs, your NSA devices disguised as iPhones. This is the most critical message you ever hear in your lives, yo. It's a massive conspiracy. We are shackled up under its weight, but I'm here to brush away the dust and expose its structure. You have to listen in. This is the symbol of tyranny. Since ancient Egypt, they haven't hidden it. Witness its fearful symmetry in the ubiquitous shape of the pyramid. Who stands above the military, royalty, and above celebrities? They do. Who directs the press, the Fed, and the universities? They do. Who operates above the law and courts, causes war for sports, and forcibly contorts the results of all elections before the voting call? They do. Hang on, Terrence. Who are they? It's blatant. Prep your brains as I unveil this. The architects and agents of the Matrix. The New World Order. They rule straight from the apex. While we, the victims, are kept restrained at the base in cages. So what can we do? We galley slaves have to mutiny. We have to expose the truth of this huge pyramid scheme of oppression and usury. Those at the top are cowards. They fear public scrutiny. Yeah, you heard me. Show yourselves, Illuminati. End this lunacy. Check it. I represent the New World Order, the banks, the government, Monsanto, Katy Perry music videos, Super Bowl halftime shows, all of these things implausibly tied together into one theory. I'm a builder, Berg. this world is like a video game I maintain when I lead the Berg. New World Order can throw your life here in the dark. No builder, Berg. No fucking around, I'm cutting down anyone in my path, time to fuck up my game with rage and sharp derivative gold bars, killing my foes, I'm rolling with the I. MF high equity, I grab my pen and sign them checks Uh, then I sidestep with high def flex You are optimistic, now you're fucking depressed You're just like the rest, I'm the NWO Totally unknown, you can't fuck with my huge bank roll. I'm hard to glimpse, you can't do this, you can't do that Yeah, fucking who said so? I do what I like, too big to fail, too much gold to hold You can't fuck with the chosen one I, 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 I own your life, I'm Bill DeBerg William DeBerg That's right, kids, or Bill if you prefer I heard someone call for me, so I'm here to Converse. I was right! I told you all! They exist! I can finally tell the world! So, the New World Order, can you confirm or deny it? Both! Both! Yeah! See, things in life are seldom black or white, left or right. If I might be direct and forthright, please, that's what we like. Trust me, you're not gonna like it. I'm about to reveal a conspiracy so vast and silent that those within it can barely recognize it. I'm playing through these deep in the latter part of last century. As you finally emerge from your ignorance, you gradually begin to realize your legacy. Your true role in history, but couldn't deal with the reality. So to retain a sense of self and innocence, your inner psyche conceived an alter ego of pure evilness, which you could blame and ascribe with the most heinous crimes that gave rise to your current way of life. 
so the new world order doesn't actually exist? Oh, it exists, and how? Ask the slaves whose labor built the White House. Ask the slaves of the day, died down to sweatshops and brothels to escape hunger. Ask most women, second class citizens, in a pervasive rape culture. Ask the non human creatures who inhabit the planet whales, bears, frogs, tuna, bees, slaughtered farm animals. Ask the natives of the Americas and Australia on whose land you live today, on whose graves your factories, farms, and neighborhoods stand. Ask any of them this. Ask them if the new world order is true. They'll tell you plainly, the new world order is you. What can we do? It's simple. Top of the tyrannous by bringing down the elite dwelling at the very top of the pyramid. You can attempt it, but this structure is your own edifice. Far greater in scale and stature than you care to know or admit it is. It extends down. As you can see in this picture, I've corrected to include all those beneath you on which your privilege has depended. Impossible. We are victims. I'm a victim of the freaking system. And that, kiddies, is how the pyramid ensures its existence. Through our failures to envision our position within it. Welcome to the new world order, bitches. I hope I've been of assistance. Aye, aye, aye. I need an alibi. I need a projection to sanitize my life. Ay, 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 you are my alibi I need a projection, need a projection well, truth seekers, it's time to close this episode. Over the course of our lives, as we seek to explain the state to the world, we pass through states of enlightenment that expose the unknown. But the deeper we go, the more our quest seems to lead closer to home. Yes, injustice is real and undeniably abundant. Conspiracies, false flags, oppression, bribery, corruption. But can we fight injustice with any depth of purpose if we ignore our own roles in causing it in the first place? For the target of our struggle is never merely the tyrant on high, but also that piece of the oppressor planted deep inside, inside every one of us. And that's where the revolution first must arise. Till next time, Robert Foster, The Internet. Good night.